All right, so we're going to talk to Angela for a second. I know she was walking around a little bit with the uh, Facebook Live link. Do you want to tell us about that? Um, yeah, apparently it's a new thing on Facebook where anyone on Facebook can go watch us live. Um, and I just walked around and see what everyone's doing, and everyone looked like they're doing some awesome stuff. Some a lot of undercuts and pastels and really cool braiding done. So I mean, everyone's doing something different, which is really cool. Lots of color, lots of texture, lots of braids. I love it. Thank you, Angela. I spy something really cool. Let's talk about this model. So cool. Look at that haircut. Sorry to interrupt. I know you guys are trying to finish up. Just wanted to give a sneak preview. It looks so awesome. So tell us about who did the haircut. Can you talk about your haircut? Um, well, it's just kind of, I guess, like, I love curls, and we just wanted to bring out his natural curly hair, and I also come from a background of geometry, so I just kind of wanted to do something different with the fade, something different than we've been seeing with just, like, the this, this side fade, the top, you know, a little bit longer, just something you know, current, but different. Very cool. I love it. I like that you said geometry. It's very geometric and very creative. Thank you. Very cool. I like it. That is so cool. I love it. How do you feel? I love it. I love it. it looks so hot. I love this. Are you satisfied with your work? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love that we look for Bruno. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Everyone. Like, I think tonight we've heard the word Rudy like, <laughs> over and over. I love it. Looking good. Looking good. So this is Olivia's braid. It turned out really well. I love it. It looks awesome. Everybody is making their way to the front. We're going to do a final call so that everybody can see everyone else's models and share work, share techniques. All right. Is everybody ready? Yes, yes. Let me hear you guys. Did y'all have fun today? Yeah. Another young man by the name of Rob, who've been actually hosting everybody tonight, getting uh, trays for people, new seats, electric, whatever you need, they've been the people who've been doing it, so I really want to put a shout out to them. Thank you very much. As well as, I'd like to thank my makeup artist Chanel that is here, as well as my colorist Sadie, because both of them did an amazing job of bringing a palette to the haircut that I did. The haircut that I did right here on Becca actually started off with a good bit of disconnecting disconnection. Um, Becca has a ton of hair. She has more hair than probably anybody else in this room and in the past has always just shaped the underneath. So what we've decided to do today was actually give her two layers of shape so that it removes a lot of bulk. The way we started it off was sectioning off her hair from along the bridal ridge, basically a mohawk section from the front to the back and then sectioning just above the occipital bone and through to the, each ear, and then through to the front hairline, so that we were able to create actually a graduated shape, starting in the back with pivoting graduation to create quite a bit of weight and build up so that she could get some volume through this disconnection on top. Because the big thing that I wanted to do was show off Sadie's color. One thing that uh, people have to learn right now is hair in the past has always been about the cut. It's always been you create a house and then paint it. Nowadays, what's happening with clients because of social media, Instagram, all of the different outlets for clients to see what's out there, they know a million names about color, and they come in asking about color before they do cut. And 
many of you may know, if you throw in a bad haircut onto a certain color, it doesn't matter how great color it is, if it doesn't match with the haircut, it just does not work together. So Sadie and I worked together well because what I want to do is make sure that we had this connection that would show enough length that her hair went from almost her natural color, which is this really pretty natural red, through to a very, very light, almost a pale blonde through the end, but just melted through. But if I was to go through and just point cut and pack into this, it would actually take away from the beautiful color. And I really feel like clients right now are almost more concerned about color than they are cuts. So while keeping that length, we did two things. One, we showed off the color, but more importantly, we also gave that effect of enough length that she could tie her hair back in the summer because she has a tendency to tie it up whenever she works out, whenever she goes out to Piedmont Park when it's 120 degrees, as well as she has a lot of natural texture. If she wants to wear this curly and wavy, it will give her, I think you called it, a little bit of a Gatsby look. So it gives her a lot of versatility and gives her a really cool edgy shape at the same time. Thank you. Thank you. from a class. 
Chicken rock, anything you do. So, we worked with it. Let's get it all. Thank you. Thank you. 
first one to use the first one? Because the, the one for us is... I love it. You ladies did a wonderful job. Thank you very much. Okay, well, all right. Excited as she is. I know. So, okay, so this is Brian, everybody. Hey guys, how are you? So, uh, today what we did is uh, aqua hair extensions, a little head in 30 minutes. And then what I wanted to do is just show the world how easy it is to make $600, $800, dollars in a matter of an hour. I think it's, uh, it's about time everybody got to learning. I actually did an online certification at aquahairextensions.com. So, you can go online and jump in. And um, you know, with America having 82% of its women say that they sell for hair loss, most of the work is actually used to the pillars back in, just to add more hair to what's missing. So if you haven't started yet, kids, jump on board. It's definitely past the time. Touchable texture and vibrant pops of color. 
we don't think that this season's trend is it going to be any one specific look, but more of a feeling of color, texture, and movement. Thank you.
Okay, so we have our beautiful German models today, Olga and Helga, and <laughs> they'll do a little dance for you later, but they have pastel vivids in their hair. We just did kind of like a spew of rainbow bright colors. <laughs> so I deemed her my, um, my little pony, and I deemed her my Easter. So we just did a lot of fun colors. We did some little styles, some braids, and we just embraced the summer. Well, well, it's awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much for Alright, so on Alright, so please tell us your name and I just want to. Uh, I'm Lane, I work for Dawn Shaw at Salon, and this is my pretty little model, Hannah. When Jeff had told us the theme was summer and fun, we thought of Hannah instantly and she volunteered to be the model. We were um, kind of focusing on what we're doing right now. We see a lot of corrective color from teenagers and stuff coming to the salon this time of year where they've been pink and such, which she had. But she's a natural ashy level seven, so we just boosted her, put her back to her baby color of platinum blonde. Feeling beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, I have Gwen Butler here in the house. When I actually interviewed her for a job today, he said she's a hairdresser. So when I spoke to Mr. Jeff um, saw today, and I, I was saying, you know, I wish I was at, I was participating. And he said, guess what? Your wish has come true. So I called Gwen. I said, Gwen, I need a model. She said, I'm down. So because she had a lot of hair, and we discussed her hair, her hair in the salon, and what we were gonna do, what would be the capabilities. So, um, anyway, she, she gave me the opportunity. As you can see her hair, she had a lot of hair overruling her features. It was just triple the amount of the hair. So I create some softness, as you can see, through the movement, to go with her silhouette and a haircut that really suits her very, very well. And she's actually, you know, we're a hairdresser. We gotta look nice, we have to look trendy and fashion forward. Well, guess what? That's what it is. You have to sell your own haircut, your own style to client or to the pu general public for them to be able to give you the opportunity to come and sit in your chair. 